This is a product tutorial for Sense, a whole of government business intelligence tool that allows government officers to query their databases in natural language. Today's tutorial will teach you two new prompts, random picking and data extraction. These two prompts will be useful to help you delve deeper into your data to explore patterns and perform investigations. As with the previous tutorial, we're using the COVID-19 case details dataset. Random picking is just simply asking Sense to pick a random case or role and then printing out all the details associated with that case. Simple, right? Now, let's try extraction. Extraction simply means asking Sense to print out all the details for all cases or roles. You can also include some filter conditions. For example, here, we're asking Sense to print out all the details for cases that visited National University Hospital. We're going to keep it real, and we're going to be showing you where Sense can go wrong. Something went wrong here. Sense has produced no meaningful output at all. Let's go to the SQL code and study it. Notice how the SQL code used the filter condition visited equals National University Hospital. We should question, does the data field visited exist? Let's go back to our data definition table to find out. Indeed, there's no such data field as visited. Instead, we should be using the public healthcare institution data field instead. So let's go back to sense and ask it to repeat the query above by replacing visited with public healthcare institution. As you can see, this is a relatively simple query that Sense is able to complete with ease. In summary, we learned that Sense is able to perform random picking of rows and then printing out all the details associated with those rows. And finally, Sense is also able to extract data at scale for further analysis subject to filter constraints.